Hi guys, you are joining us with the story of the bug and the poor flea, which is the very useful story in the Panchatantra series. Let's talk now. Mandeva Sarpini was a white bug. She lived in the folds of the exquisite white silk sheet that covered the bed of a king in a certain country. She fed on the king's blood without anybody noticing and was happy to spend her days. One day, a flea managed to enter the beautifully decorated bedroom of the king. When the bug saw him, she warned, Oh flea, what are you doing in the king's bedroom? Leave at once before you get caught. The flea replied, Madam, even if I were a good-for-nothing bug, that is no way to treat a guest. One should welcome a guest with humble words, sweet behavior and offer refreshments. The flea continued, I have fed myself with all types of blood, but never have I had the pleasure of the blood of a king. It must be very sweet, for the king eats the choicest of food. I would love to taste the king's blood, if you permit. The bug was taken aback. Oh flea, you have a nasty bite, like a sharp needle. Besides, I feed on the king's blood only when he is deep into his sleep. I can permit you to feed on the king's blood only if you promise to wait till he is asleep. The flea agreed. I promise to wait till the king is asleep, and only after you have fed yourself, will I feed myself on his blood. Soon after they decided on such terms, the king came to his bedroom and lay down to sleep. The flea could not control himself, and decided to take a tiny bite of the king, without waiting. As the king was yet to fall asleep, he jumped at the sharp bite of the flea. The king shouted at his servants, Hey, there is something in my bed that has bitten me. Look for it, as I have already been bitten. On hearing this, the bug quickly hid himself in a corner of the bed, before the servants could start searching for him. Nevertheless, the servants meticulously examined every corner of the bed, meticulously inspecting each sheet until they discovered the bugs nestled within the folds. Promptly dispatching it, the king was finally able to rest without further concern. Thank you all for joining today's story. Stay with us until we bring a story like this again. Good day to you.